Hey folks, Quillikin here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play uh, Motorsport Manager. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, Motorsport Manager. Ooh, ooh they want to do an interview. Uh, last episode, we did uh, middle of the road performance on a race, but that's okay. That's kind of where we're supposed to end up. Uh, what are we going to answer some questions? After you win today, we were wondering if you had any thoughts on who's this guy? He's an interesting driver. Huh. Okay, I don't know. That's fine, sure. Um, just realize we are not designing any parts, which you really should be doing. Uh, next race, the acceleration is crucial, so we may as well go ahead and get a second gearbox. Hell, we've been practicing it, and that's going to be okay. So we got some interesting questions, interesting things we could do here. We could double up and have a super high-risk component. The base acceleration start would be huge. Absolutely huge at plus 50 or we could grab this so not the plus 50 from here only the plus 30 but not extra risk we still have the plus 15 from here i think i might want to do this rather than have a hugely at risk part very likely to get banned let's go ahead and do this just lightly at risk that's probably okay so we're gonna design you spend another million bucks on that so we can get a good part in on this one which is very exciting um, we have to finish our car repair before we can check the improve uh, parts stat. That's okay. Let's go ahead and continue. There you go. Car repair is completed. So now we can look to improving parts. So, oh, we got some empty bits over here. Um, so probably keep working on the brakes. Now, is there, was there, what was else was sort of failing? Well, the brakes were actually part of the issue. So better brake performance would be kind of handy. Let's go ahead and do this. So get this one set of brakes. This, I think this was going to be um, Luigi's brake. And especially if we keep giving Claudia the better gearbox over here. Well, one of the big th interesting questions will be what happens when we develop the second gearbox. How do we want to weight things? And we'll have to see about that. And again, it'll probably come in with relatively lower um, reliability. That's one of the things. If you can shorten the production time, there was one of the band parts was going to cut three days off the production time. And if you're an engineer, you always cut a day off the production time. It makes it a lot easier to squeeze things in for the next race. All right, you're there. We'll go ahead and fit the part. Yeah, we'll go. We'll assume we want to race with this. Um, she likes that she's got the better car. I think we'll do that. Okay. Fairly equal car is good. You know your car is better, so you're good there. So that that's fine. Um, yeah, that's okay. But we definitely need to make sure we are improving the reliability of this. And I do want to keep... I should have... I, that was supposed to be here before. I want to definitely weight things towards reliability boost. Try to get as much as possible. So yeah, I wish I'd done it a little bit sooner here. Uh, we actually want to only work on this one to boost this one's reliability as much as possible before the race. But no, I'll do both. That's going to be fine. Um, and yeah, you keep doing your thing here. Oh, we got some new sponsor options. Hello, slot six. Um, hmm. So, this one, this is paying a lot less. A lot less. Because if it was four races, we'd be getting quarter million per, but it's six, so we get, I don't remember what that comes out to. Less than 200,000 per race. And this is 350,000 per race. Longer contract, but it's a good one. So, I mean, unless we wanted the upfront, but no, no, no. We'll just go for Peach Plum over here. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, there are mods to get, um, like, real world sponsors, you know, like uh, Bridgestone or, or something like that, if you want that kind of realism. But we'll go with, again, I've, I'm running completely unmodded here for these videos. Uh, so, yeah, that'll help our finances. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, our drivers are doing mostly fine, I think. They both are promised equal status. Sometimes you, you set someone up as a first driver and a second driver, but here we're definitely setting them up for equal status. I mean, if we had it the other way, then yeah, it's like, then they expect you to put all the best gear on one person. But that's not really the situation here. So we're mostly going to advance to the next race. 10 days. So hopefully in that 10 days, we've put in fair amount of improvement into both those transmissions. Uh, report on the race. Test track. Claudio wants a test track. I, I would love it. I just don't have the money. Um, so how far did we get here? 
71%, 59%. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, do we think, do we want to take the risk for this one? Just really go for it? Heavy rain. So both practice and the race is expected to have heavy rain. Um, let's let's go for another low B. It'll be easy and a little less stressful to try to reach. Um, so they both have illegal gearboxes. That's fine. Okay, where is it? Oh, in Milan, right? Yeah. Milan in... Or no, Munich. Really? That, all right. What did we do last time? Was last time Milan? Maybe that's what I'm getting confused about. That sounds exactly like the sort of thing I would do. Okay. So, the practice one. Oh, it's not raining. So, you get your forecast, right? If you get your forecasting center, you get more and more accurate forecasts. Here, it turns out that today is just cloudy and not rainy. Hmm. I wonder if it's still going to rain on rain on uh, race day. And does that affect how we set things up? I don't know. I do not know. Uh, looks like our default setup is pretty much in the sweet spot. Um, we might want it like a little bit more weighted towards acceleration, so we'll do a little bit of tweak there. Uh, what's the temp? Fairly warm. I don't know if we want to go right to mediums, though. Mediums are very, very tough. Um, because it really comes down like how many how many laps are we really going to be doing? So what do we want to practice in? Because what do we want to get our um, our stats, our performance boost in? I think I'm actually going to go towards softs instead, and the reasoning for that is I kind of expect there to be some crazy weather changes, so that might cause everyone to pit an extra time, which means lower uh, durability tires are going to be a okay. It's not like it's expected to be hot. It's not above 20 or anything like that, where you're, these tires just start to melt off. So we're going to do that. Also, starting the race in soft tires is great, so you can get a lot more of uh, get out of the pack early on. So uh, we could split the difference. A little bit medium, a little bit soft, and then we'll get a little bit of experience in both, and then um, split that, but uh, we'll probably want to go and put our, one of the experiences in the race trim anyway, so no, we'll just double up on soft, that's going to be alright. Do we want to do any tweaks over here? Um, it looks like you might be leaning a little bit more towards slightly greater downforce, so, and just somewhat shorter gear ratios over here like that, and then we'll get some more information once the race starts. Okay, I think that's going to be fine. We'll take the practice. I don't like the simulate sessions. They tend to like swap things out a little too randomly. Uh, and yeah, send out. So, go nuts. I don't know if like the stint makes a difference because we can like just change it ourselves. Tell you what, we're gonna assume you're gonna do six laps and then stop, just in case it makes a difference. We'll send you out. And same thing here. We're gonna assume you're gonna do six laps, and we're gonna send you out as well. And we'll get you started on a baseline strategy. And let's go to speed three. Okay. Out and out. You're not directly behind each other, which is great. Dreyfus being behind is fine, I guess, because you can pass Luigi a little bit better. No feedback yet. Weather forecast. I'm cooling off a little. So again, uh, the practice is on Friday. The race is on Sunday. Gearing seems right. Handling feels awesome. That's good news. Uh, so the weather could change, but it looks like, you know, probably we could expect the mid-teens. And I think a soft tire is a good fit for that. Temperature of the tire is just sweet right now with the default performance. Um, the opposing driver is about half are on soft and half are on medium. Fastest sector record over here. That's good. And yeah, so I don't know how the... Um, I don't think your performance here determines where you get in the grid. Oh, you want a little bit more downforce? We'll take a look at that. Because um, I think I think it's just randomly assigned, because there's not a qualifying day here, but I might be completely wrong. So we're unlocking a little bit of race trim knowledge. Oh, oh, weather forecast is going to shift here. It's going to start raining. Where's the, where's the pit? Okay, they're both approaching the pit. It has started raining. Uh, I'm going to take this as a great opportunity. I'm going to bring them both in and put them on intermediaries. 
because then we can get a little bit of experience for that, and that's going to be handy dandy. Um, so, you are really unhappy with your downforce. Really unhappy. You almost certainly want a bunch more of it. You're very happy with the handling. The speed balance is great. Now, this is going to affect the handling a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and throw some of that in there. And probably... What you want is slightly harder suspension. Uh, not exactly. Maybe a little bit of both. There you go. Again, in the middle of the predicted range. Hopefully somewhere there's a sweet spot. So throw on a bunch more downforce. And most importantly, so we're going to just set this to, you know, run it to the end of the thing. We'll throw you into intermediaries and get some experience on that. Send you out. And we're just waiting for Claudia to come in. Likewise, she's unhappy with the downforce. I mean, different drivers have different styles and have different preferences about where things get put. It tends to be fairly similar because it's the same kind of track. So we're going to do that. You are very happy with the handling. If we can keep that sweet spot, that'd be good. Speed balance was great. It is now a little bit more heavily weighted towards acceleration because of the downforce. And I think that's going to be okay. We're going to accept that shift in there. That's going to be fine. Of course, everything might change with the new weather as well. But there we go. Intermediators. Intermediates. Um, then there's the wet for like really heavy rain. You can see the water on track, how much it'll build up. It looks like it'll peak at about the halfway mark and then start to dip down. So definitely wets are not called for. But yeah, a big question will be what is the weather going to be like on Sunday? So, well, we got level one soft tire tech, so that's good. And then we should be able to at least get the level one uh, intermediate knowledge as well. So between the two of them, we'll get some sort of boost and we can play the weather out. These tweaks and the downforce are great. Nice job with the setup. Excellent. I like it when you watch actual racing on TV and they, like, let you hear the radios of some of the drivers and conversation with the pit crews. I find it just really fascinating. Any behind-the-scenes uh, the tweaks are nice. All right, aero setup is good, or at least better. That's fantastic. Gear ratios are just right. What I like to hear. So weather's increasing. Oh! All right, so it stopped raining and started to dry up a little bit, but didn't completely dry up. And you really want it to be bone dry before you go to slicks. But then it's going to start raining again anyway. So this is going to be a good practice. Whether or not this is indicative of the situation on Sunday, it remains to be seen. And we only get a little bit of preview ourselves with the weather, so... There we go. Level 1 intermediate unlocked. Thank you very much. I'm sure that will be handy, actually. Watch us have to do the whole thing on, like, pure wet tires in the end. It seems right. Okay. The course is now soaked. They probably much prefer being in wets here. But, I mean, we're obviously not going to make a change for this. And then superb. Okay. It looks like we've got a fairly good mix going on here. So we just got to wait for everyone to finish their practice. Oh, Aerosep is wrong. I need more downforce. Oh, so it improved, but wasn't quite there yet. All right, we'll see what we can do for you, Luigi. Dun, 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 dun. You're done. Five cars. Like, as far as I know, there's no way to just speed up this thing, which seems a little bit weird to me. Like, come on, guys. Just wrap it up. There we go. Finally. Okay. Timed practice results. So, 10-12. Are we going to start in 10-12? That'll, that'll be the question, actually, if this doubles up as a qualification, but I don't think so. No, 9th and 12th. So, I don't know. Um, so, weather forecast. Sunny, 21 degrees, but cooling. And some cloud, maybe. So, we don't know what we're going to be seeing. I mean, we'll take the race trim on both, certainly. Because it's just a flat 10% bonus. Now, notice the mechanic thing is different. So, we could get intermediate tires wear more slowly. Or we could get a 5% boost in soft tires. Or a 5% boost in intermediate tires. Well, we're going to start in soft. So, I guess I'm just going to take that. It's worth noting, though, Claudia, her mechanic, and their relationship has unlocked the nurse. Car condition drops slightly slower. Since we don't have a really strong practice knowledge here, I'm going to go ahead and take nurse over here. So, that hopefully we get less part repair that we have to worry about as we go. So, you are... Oh, my God. Excellent and excellent. I mean, making a change to the downforce will tweak the others, but he wanted more downforce. So we're going to go ahead and 
bring that up a scooch. Like that. So more downforce is going to get kicked in here. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, we're going to start on soft. Um, assessment link. So we'll do the same thing with 11 here. In fact, I, I find it very likely that we're going to be switching this tire a little bit sooner. I'm actually wondering if we just start with 10 laps worth of fuel in here. Because you know we're going to stop before we run out of fuel. Because I'm expecting weather changes. I'm also expecting to run the tire a little bit crazier earlier on. I think we're going to do that. Might be a little crazy. Um, good, great, good. So you actually, you could use a little bit more downforce. And you want your speed to be balanced a little bit more towards acceleration. You'll start on the soft, and yeah. Same so you know what? Oh, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna start with 10 laps worth of fuel. You're, because you're a bit more conservative on your tires, you're gonna start with 11. So that way you don't have to pit at the same time, and that's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Uh, so driver strategy. Well, you'll both start off in the higher engine mode, that's gonna be fine. Um, and you'll probably both start off in the push driving style here too. Well, actually, just... Uh, yeah, no. You start here because you're going to start with cooler tires. They'll warm up pretty fast. They're soft and it's a warmer day. But we'll start that way and then we'll bring it down pretty quick. I suspect. Because I don't know if you need quite as much tire performance when you're still, you know, just locked up in the grid like this. As opposed to taking the corners in high speed. Alright. Claude well, is in 10th. Now 11th. But, I mean... It's such nonsense here. It's amazing we haven't actually just smacked in some of these other guys. And maybe I should have taken a more aggressive sponsor stance. It's possible. It's possible. Nice trees over here. Like that. G11 to 13th overall. Not fantastic, but it's not bad. Tire condition's good. They are warming up well. Weather forecast. We're going to definitely keep a close eye on this, especially as we get close to pit times. really need to break out of this pack. Claudia just ahead of Luigi. Twenty-eight laps remaining. Still no weather change. Well, let's bring up the speed three. Temperature is getting good and equalized. We'll probably go ahead and just move into neutral at this point. Stay a little bit higher on the fuel, because we might be able to burst past someone with an acceleration boost, although right now we're mostly just losing position, which is a little crazy to me. And someone's crashed again. Good God. Oh, that's that Jaw guy we are just talking about. All right. Claudia's back in 12th. I think I keep calling her Julia. I don't know why. It's the Ia sound at the end of her name. Nice pass! Holy crap! Just smoked like that, that guy, like he was standing still. And apparently Luigi did a pass as well, so that's fantastic. 11th and 12th. There we go. Nice moves. Opening up. Tire situation is fantastic. And some of our people, some of our opponents are on medium tires. So they'll have a little bit more longevity. Remember that Claudia came in with a little bit less fuel, so she will have to pit a little bit sooner. And, you know, maybe, maybe that didn't pay off. Maybe I should just, you know, go to max out the fuel. But ultimately, in the end, if you still, you know, just do two pit stops, we're going to be fine. How's the weather forecast? Still no rain forecasted. I am surprised. Part of the gamble I took was I expected a weather shift and that we'd have to switch to intermediate tires um, sooner. Five laps of fuel, 60% on there. Six laps of fuel, 65% on there. I think we're going to be well-timed for, for our switch over here. 10th and 11th. Fine for the sponsors, and fine to keep it in that goal of 6th place at the end of the season. I mean, certainly... Ooh, they're attempting to pass each other. Um, and she does. Certainly, um, at, oh, he's going to pass back, maybe. Oh, we've got a duel between our two drivers. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, certainly I think we'll be able to do better, especially as we lock down more of these custom parts and, and try to come up with a strategy here. Overtake two drivers. Oh, there may have been... Anyone pitting? No, no one's pitting. Just a big pass there. 
They're still dueling it out. 11 to the 12th with two of them. I mean, I don't know if I should tell one of them to back off or not, but probably not. Claudia now in ninth. There we go, and getting a little bit of breathing space, which is nice to see. Tires down to... Ooh, both their tires. Um... I'm actually a little disappointed that Luigi isn't saving his tires a wee bit more, because... Should I just get him to burn more fuel here? I don't know. We can save a second or two off the pit time if he doesn't have to fuel quite so heavy. Guess we'll leave it be. I guess you could go and, like, actually burn your tires a little bit more aggressively here. That might be the thing we want to do with Claudia. Let's tell her you can go ahead and be a little bit more nuts. Where's the pit location? Right over there. Yeah, she can pit on the next one. We're definitely pushing it. But, again, we don't want to have to pit too often here. Alright, pit on the next one. So... You're going to have 20 laps exactly. How's the weather? Still going to be clear. I think what we'll do is a full 12 lap fuel and... I think, even though we don't have the thing for it, is I think we'll have to go on mediums, because these guys... Yeah, I think we'll have to do a stint on mediums. Parts are all good, that's nice to see. You know what, we'll go balance, because they keep screwing up on the safe anyway, so... We'll do that. And... Luigi, you can go a little bit more. You're going to be on pretty rough tires. That's going to be okay. So, I'm just going to probably wait for him to just get past the pit thing, and then I'll, I'll put in the command. As long as you go... It, by the way, you can't 100% run out of fuel. You just start moving really, really, really slowly. There you go. So, on your next pit, how are we looking? Still clear. You're a little bit better on tires. Like, I'm wondering if we just keep you on the, the softs. Now, it's 10 to 12 laps. I mean, so probably... I'm actually thinking of just putting in 11 laps worth of fuel in there. Especially since there's only 19. I think that's going to be fine. How are your parts? Your transmission's starting to definitely wear. I don't know if it's worth doing a fix here, but maybe on the next one. Alright. Claudia. Pit stop. Pit stop went well. It's not the worst. I mean, obviously you lose position when you pit, but everyone's got to pit sometimes. And most of the people ahead of us have not stopped yet. So, how are we good on the balance? I think this is going to be fine. Temperature's good on this right now. So if we can keep you in the sweet spot there, we actually might want to be a little bit more conservative on the fuel. Although, again, I do tend to swap out the tires before they actually get completely drained. I'm going to throw you on medium. We'll see how it goes. You're on soft, so we'll definitely keep your fuel a little higher, Luigi, because I think that'll, that'll keep pace with your tire wear pretty well. There's more track grip now coming in, which is nice because the track's been developed. That's actually going to help out Luigi, or, uh, uh, Claudia quite a bit with her medium strength tires. Ah, there is going to be rain! Look! Look at that. Um, not literally at the most awkward time, but pretty awkward. I should have just gone back to back soft. Damn it. Of course it would ch change to rain as soon as I go to the medium here. So it would have been nice to run Claudia on soft tires instead. Um, so that you get a little bit more grip. Ooh, speaking of, your temperature is not quite where it should be. And you know what? You can burn your fuel a little higher, because you're going to... Fuck it, just go crazy. Because you are going to have to change to intermediaries. So we're going to be pretty aggro here. Um, obviously, the pit stop will take a little longer to refuel completely, but hopefully this will make the difference. Since we're going to have to pit anyway to put on some intermediates, let's, let's, go, let's go nuts. Now, the rain will also wash away a lot of the track grip as well. You can actually see the prediction there of it dropping as the rain starts. Okay, we still have a little bit of time. Everything is golden down here. Excellent. This will be a little harder on the transmission and the brakes, I think, by running up here. Might not make too much of a difference. But 8th, 13th. Luigi's not doing quite as well as Claudia. No rain yet. Yeah, work those tires hard. Oh, there we go. Luigi's at the 10th now. Someone might have put it ahead of him. 
which would be kind of funny if someone pit now because the rain's about to change things, but it doesn't look like it. No one's got fresh, fresh, fresh tires on. So temperature's a little hot for Luigi, but that's to be expected because we're running his soft tires a little higher, and that's okay. So it's about to start raining. Probably once the rain starts, and then I'll hit the pit button. It does take a little bit for the, the track water to go up. Let's let's plan it now. Do that. Um, how long do we expect these things to last? The question is, how long is the rain going to last? It looks like it's going to rain throughout, so... Um, and that's a good duration, so we will go for a, few, a full fuel stop here. Um, we're still going to have to stop one more time. Because there's going to be 13... No matter what, there's going to be another freaking stop. That's kind of frustrating. Okay, then. We're going to have to run on the wet for a little bit. Yeah. We're going to delay the pit stop by one. And see if we can't make it to the end of the race without another... Um, Tire change. Certainly very risky. Certainly very risky. Rain hasn't actually started yet, so I'm actually really happy I delayed it. It's supposed to start at some point in here. But it hasn't actually started raining. Now I'm wondering if it's not actually going to happen. Pit lane's coming up. Yeah, and I, I understand the fuel. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get you to chill out with your two laps left, and we're gonna we're gonna bring this down here. Cause you're clearly gonna be fitting in another lap. There we go, it's starting to get damp. Okay, so if I want to pit now. Eleven laps remaining, and we can have twelve laps worth of fuel in here. Perfect. Intermediates, park condition, golden. Stay on balance, that's going to be fine. Pit. Intermediate. 11 laps after pit stop, and you're going to have 12 laps of fuel in there. Um, the race is going to be long enough, I think we're going to have to go and fix that as well. Which is going to hurt, but that's what you get for not having a nurse mechanic. Alright. So there's our pit. I'm happy I didn't... So we got a whole other lap of dry on slicks than we thought. And at the same time we have intermediaries as soon as the track becomes slick with other people don't get. Uh, we're definitely going to have to be, not, not necessarily fully conservative, but balanced over here. We're hoping we're hoping we can do the rest of this without another pit change. Gearbox is feeling better. That's great. We might actually want to race conservatively to avoid the final pit change. Now the fuel is going to be fine, but I'm actually thinking, well, if we run too conservative, then our tire pre our tire temperature is going to drop, especially in the rain. Now the weather's the temperature's going up. We actually we'll have to see what our meter does here. If it starts to rise, I'll definitely be happy to drop one level of tire conservation. It'll be beautiful. Yeah, but it's it's on the low end. Damp track, it's going to stop the temp from getting very high. Again, as the air temperature goes up, maybe things will change. It does look like it's going to rain throughout. Even if it stops raining, the water stays on the track for a while, so it's not too shabby. We're getting excess fuel warnings on both, so we've got enough fuel to last to the end. I could go and, and ramp things up a little bit. But let's not do it quite yet. It's great. If you got the telemetry stats, you can get a lot more accurate numbers, I think, about how much fuel you've got. And I think if we run a little faster, I think it will be a little harder on the tires as well. So we don't need to win, although it would be nice to come out a little further ahead than this. Oh, you got a nice pass. Excellent. Okay, you know what? We will go up on both, because I'm hoping it's going to help keep the tire temperature up. Because I don't like the fact that they're running so cold here. When you do a pit change, your tires come out kind of warm, because they actually have them in heaters. They have them in ovens, or like under UV lamps, or something of that nature. So that when you uh, get new tires at a pit stop, your tires come out warm. I think they get them up to like something like 70 degrees or something like that. They're like quite toasty. 
Get my dust, yeah. Fifth place, good god, nice job. Okay, we no longer have excess fuel. It's very important that we don't run out before the end. Man, I would love more accurate numbers here. Well, this is, again, what it's expected currently. So, we gotta go to 29, so this counts this. So we've got eight... Where are we? We're here? So we've got almost eight full laps left to go, because remember, lap 29 counts as one of them. And we have... It says excess fuel again, but I don't believe you. So I think, I think we'll end with just barely any fuel left. I guess maybe it's letting us know that, hey, you won't have to pit stop again, so that's good. But that's different from excess. Like, to me, excess is if you've got more than a lap worth of fuel left at the end. Tire performance, I mean, it's cool, which I don't like, so it's a lot less grippy. But the percentage left isn't bad. Six laps left, can we do it on 70%? Maybe. It's just getting wetter and wetter, too. I don't think we're going to go right to, like, the actual um, uh, rain tires, though. So I don't expect it to become soaked. Fourth place with Claudio, fantastic. Meanwhile, Luigi's only in 14th, which isn't great for him. We're hoping, though, that we'll come out ahead with a, of a change. Lap 23. Yeah, let's conserve the tires. Apparently, we can't keep them warmer. I mean, unless we drove much more aggressively on our tires. But even then, we'd end up having to do a tire change. So I'm just hoping that, like, maybe we can just preserve them. Excess fuel, excess fuel, but I'm not going to go up at all. I can attack a bit more, I need my tires up temperature. They're raining, yeah. I mean, it is, they're stone cold now. And they're stone cold. All right, go back up to neutral. I really, if we can avoid doing another pit, it's gonna be huge. Just gotta make sure we don't have a blowout. So we're lap 25. 26 now, okay. So we've got four proper laps left. We have 50%. I mean, we're going to end up with red tires, but we might be okay. And the fuel, yeah, there's not a, a ton of excess fuel. We're going to end up with less than a lap left in our fuel tank. So I'm not too worried. You want, you want actual wet tires. No. I mean, your, your, your people complain a little bit more. I need the pit for wets. What am I doing out here in slicks? Well, you're not in slicks. You're in intermediates. Um, no, I don't know if anyone else is going to pit for wets. If it was early, if there was more race left... I mean, there are three. No. That would be crazy. We're not pitting. The tire condition is getting pretty low. Still got the excess fuel, but again, not that much. Where are you? Over here? Yeah, you really aren't going to have much excess fuel, I'm pretty sure. A mega instability when I'm braking for high speed. Do you? Uh, yeah, your shit's not great, but the race is nearly over, buddy. Try not to crash. Although, oh, that's probably mostly has to do with the, uh, the type of um, tires he's got on. Hopefully I don't have an actual crash here. But no one else is on wets. It's basically as wet as it's going to get. It is soaked, though. It is properly soaked. But no. I, I, no. No pit stop. Just try not to die. Pro tip. Don't die. So we are in the final... Well, not literally. We're about to start our final lap now. There we go. So one and a quarter tanks of fuel left. So we could go... We could go a little higher, maybe, on the engine mode and be fine. Same thing here. We'll go a little higher on the engine mode and probably be fine. Although, who knows, maybe that leads to higher risk and disasters start to happen. Their tires are alright, though. Here, you know what? You can actually you can actually push your tires quite a bit more. And you. They're not even in the red. I mean, although, again, maybe this leads to higher chance of disaster, but we can use more of our tire. Although we're not at risk of being passed here, so maybe I should have been a little bit more relaxed. Likewise... That's weird. It says a 9 and a 10 second gap between me and the person ahead of me and behind, but sure as hell doesn't look like that.
Oh, it might be the timing difference because of the, um... Does the time on each car only start when they pass through the starting position? That's probably the case. Yeah, that's why those finished. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, yeah, so there, I could have been a little bit more chill because there's clearly nothing we could have done there. Still, third place overall for Claudia is fan frickin tastic That is really good. I mean, it's too bad Luigi didn't have a great race, but he also doesn't have the cartoon the same way. Medium risk of rule break. Okay, no rules broken. Woo! Because we had two cars of things. Look at this podium finish for Claudia. Only 17 years old. Gets a third place in there. Fantastic. And as a team, we are in fifth position overall. Three points ahead of Vexella Motorsports. I like that a lot. That's actually... That's really good. That gives us a margin this early on. Very happy about that. So, um... We have to figure out... I, I gotta... I'm being really bad about not developing things back to back to back. I'm finishing one thing, and then I'm like too into like explaining stuff we could have really gone for a higher sponsor and i think we will going forward but i i've I gotta remember that i've got to design parts back to back we've got enough money i mean they're expensive but yeah i've got lots of money right now so we got to start being more aggressive in our design process um i would like to work on brakes i think that's going to be fine uh we're gonna have to like try to not have too many um uh, more illegal parts, or there'll be big problems. Um, we could go and get more base reliability in the brakes, but we can get it high up there anyway. I think we'll just get, like, more deceleration potential in the brake to start off with. That's going to be okay. So we'll start you working, and yeah, I'm going to try to be a little bit better about this, because I have not been. Uh, interview? Sure. What do you want? Um, hasty repairs to the brakes. Uh, we'll have to try to improve that for the next race. We're working on it. Finish the interview. Podium, thanks for the support. Oh, look at that! More morale boost, excellent. So you got a personality trait for the next two weeks. That's fantastic. Scouting out the opposition, that's great. Okay, so we'll let the car repairs go. Nope, oh, what do we get interrupted by? Cars repairs finished, okay. Improve parts. So yeah, it would be nice to get the actual brakes improved. Um, so we're continuing to develop these brakes. We'll probably stop worrying about improving the second set of brakes because we are developing some over here. Still mostly focusing on improvements, which I think is okay. Especially improving the gearbox reliability is going to be great. Still a little bit worried that we'll get busted for some illegal parts, but we'll do what we can. Uh, Luigi's birthday! Hey! Happy birthday, Luigi! Introduction to the GMA. Oh yeah, we'll be doing some voting soon. Uh, yeah, let's throw a big party. Let's boost his morale. Spend some money, it's fine. Excellent. I like these little storyline things, they're great. Do do do. And break designed. Okay. So let's also design an engine. So we're gonna avoid anything with the risk level. Uh, we could just start with an engine that's got high base reliability. But no, let's go for the top speed. Well, I mean again, the thing I could do is design a high reliability engine so we can use it right away not worry about upgrading this one and then just going right away and designing maybe two good quality engines that's actually kind of tempting i think that's what i'm going to do they are expensive as hell though it may be you know what if we're going to do that it's not going to be with engines okay we'll just get the top speed and then we'll improve this design you know the hard way all right go uh so the brakes well, first of all, we need to make sure that this new brake here gets reliability boosts because it's kind of crap right now. So we got 19 days, so they'll get a fair amount of improvements by then. Let's make sure to stick that over that way. Thank you very much. Uh, fit parts. So, right now, Luigi is considered to have the better car. So let's go and throw maybe better brakes on Claudia's. And Luigi, you're going to get this brake because this is the one we're working to improve. In fact, that's interesting. This one here has a lower rating right now. Lower performance, lower reliability, but its max is 190 as opposed to a max of 173. So this set of brakes will be better as we keep tinkering on it. So that's going to be good news. Um, two illegal parts over here. So they both have illegal gearboxes, but I will make that work. Fine. Okay, brake build done. I guess I got to put a cut in here, I suppose. So next episode, what are you letting me know about? 
No, we already knew that. Uh, next episode, we will uh, be running a new race with some new brakes. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.